again, talking about House of X, Powers of X. I mentioned this in one of my other videos. I really did not care about the villains. Like, obviously I knew who they were. I knew it was like the Sentinel, Master Mold, Mother Mold people. But like Nimrod, whenever Nimrod and his bozos came on screen, well, on the page, it's not a freaking movie, it's a comic book. I just, my brain just shut off. I was like, can this scene end? And I know, I mean, it's kind of tough to top X-Men villains because X-Men have so many iconic villains. I mean, just looking at Magneto. But it's really cool because Magneto isn't, like Magneto's a good guy in this who kind of isn't that involved with like the on the ground stuff. He's doing a lot more of the behind the scenes work with Professor X. I just didn't really care about the villains. There's one scene towards the end where th there's one, I don't want to spoil anything for a five-year-old comic. There's one scene towards the end that something happened to one of the villains that was like really like a big deal. And it was like, oh shoot, like that was cool. But as it was happening, I was like, who the hell is this guy? So maybe that's me not paying attention or maybe that's just the writing being whack. But I still really enjoyed the story. It doesn't take away from the fact that this X-Men story was phenomenal.